Welcome to Raven's Over. Please go to my channel, also the notification bell, like this video, and share. All donations are appreciated. There is a PayPal on top. Welcome to Raven's Over. Hey! What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you? What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. What's going on, people? It is the day of another day of another day that we call Thursday. It would have been said, What's going on, people? Hopefully, everybody's doing everything as far as being safe. In this world we're living in the knocking down doors, making your dreams come true, and practicing ignore. Now I want to talk to you about a few things and stuff like that. Now, obviously I went to this store, obviously you know, if you're following me on Instagram, like I said before, there is the link at the top. You can just click on the Instagram button. In case you want to search it, it's Raven underscore over. Put that in Instagram. Just go to my channel. You get this chance to see a lot more things I do behind the scenes that I don't really share with on YouTube. Due to the fact that there's a lot of rules and restrictions and stuff like that, but on Instagram, I basically, you know, go a lot of different places. It's not so policed. So basically, make sure you shine. Make sure you shine. Make sure you click on or subscribe to my Instagram channel at the top. <sighs> I also went to the grocery store and stuff, and I wanted to go to see if the quarantine. Now, obviously, the quarantine is going still on and actively growing, and we feel as though some of us that it should be. Uh, my thing is this, okay? It should be limited, okay? If you are a person that have your own business stuff, they're suffering. We know this, and the way I see it is, let me stay focused. Let me stay one thing at a time, okay? I went up there, went to the store and stuff like that, walked from one city to the next, north to Irvington and stuff. I went to find out where the store is open, what people are saying inside the store and stuff like that. It's quarantine, everything's shut down. I went over to Irvington, stores were closed, they said closed by the state. And when I say that, it means to be these spot places. Uh, I actually ended up walking back, my whole body was killing me. I went to the grocery store, got some food, obviously, well not obviously, but I went and got some food and stuff and came on home. My body was killing me, took a bath, okay. The quarantine has been going on for a minute now. And people feel as though we, the quarantine needs to be uplifted. People are protesting. Many protests have begun in different states. They feel as though their liberty, their rights is being violated. They want to reopen the states. Many states are saying that it's time to open it back up. They're tired of being in a shutdown from different states. Comment below, know you feel about this. Now we realize we have to live in this world together. Comment below, how you feel about this protest? I'm waiting to hear from you. Saying to uplift the quarantine, people need to get back to work. Regular scheduled channel. People with their $1,200 um, stimulus checks haven't got there yet. If you don't have a bank account, it makes it much more longer. And I find it unpleasant. It's sad because people need that money at the end of the day. And I understand we have to basically circulate everything out, try to get people out their checks. But at the end of the day, people have families and stuff like that. And people say, well, people have a direct deposit. But what about people on welfare? Do they not, it's not matter as much? We already have enough people in the homeless center where they are basically suffering because they have nowhere to live. And some people say, well, they want drugs. No, they're not. Everybody, everybody homeless is now on drugs. I'm so tired of every time I turn around people stereotype things, which is not true. It's called heart knocks in life. Everybody has them. Some people don't, but I guess some people do. You get heart knocks in life. That means that things don't go according to plan and you have to find another way to get yourself out of the situation. Okay. <sighs> Me, myself, I feel this quarantine and be lifted only because if this is the thing. If we are, the, we are as adults, I don't believe you need to get caged as animals. You already said we have to wear masks around our face and we keep moving forward. Fine, let's just do that. Um, and, and think about it, say, well, you have to wait until this quarantine and it has to be, you know, that the virus has been controlled and stuff. But how would it ever be really controlled? My personal thing is it's spreading, it's spreading. And the thing about it is how long can you keep people inside of a house? How long can you keep people caged inside of a house and do this type of thing and not act as if they're not going to be 
mentally insane when it's over with. Our personal opinion, once again, I don't understand how it's so easy to open a liquor store and I definitely need a food store, but open the liquor store but you'll open a hair short store or the barber shop. COVID-19 update. I'm ordered effectively 8 p.m. tonight. The closure of all personal care businesses, which cannot comply with social distancing guidelines, including barber shops and hair salons, spas, nails and eyelash saloons, tattoo parlors and social clubs. Until further notice, Governor, Phil Murphy, March the 19th, 2020 is when it all These are these that people need. They could walk in, cover their mouths the same way and move forward, the same thing do in the house. Social distance, stuff like that, wash your hands, wash your hands, which I think is hilarious in itself, because if you get sick, it's up here. But if you touch something, you can still have to go, this is where I see it. Now, work with me here. I'm going to the store, buy me some food and stuff, got my gloves on. I touch something, I put it in my back. I touch something, I put it in my back. Put some, I put them back. Now, every time I'm touching some, I could be pulling the air to me. I could be pulling the air to me on my gloves. Okay. Now, okay, we'll just say I won't be pulling it to me. Now, when I take the gloves and stuff, I have to take the gloves off. When I take the gloves off, guess what? They peel back. Peel back to what? My real skin. Peel back to what? My body. Peel back to what? Okay. So I put it back inside my. I put it down, and I have to take them and um. You know, get my gross and stuff like that. Now it's sitting there. Now whatever. Virus, whatever it was outside, is on my gloves, and now it is in my house. That's my personal opinion. So if it's airborne, it's coming straight on me. Even though I took the mask off once I got to my house, if it's airborne, it's going straight on me. This is my opinion. I just think it's something is not right here. You know, my thing is just cover your mouth. I get that part. I'm with it 100%. Wash your hands every five seconds. Would they come in contact with something? You still could come into contact with it, even though you have gloves on. Things not always, it's always a way that it can work when it's not, when it can't work when it's supposed to work. Because things have, nothing is always 100%. It's like condoms, it's not 100% just because you put one on, don't mean you won't end up getting pregnant or STD. Just my opinion. So, this quarantine is grabbing, it's not really driving me crazy and stuff, but I, I just wanted to see what was going on and stuff. A lot of girls haven't got to check and stuff like that. A lot of girls are upset because they're like, why well, didn't get my money? And I'm with you because I didn't get mine as well. And the thing is, I drive my people crazy. I went, I made a, um, I went on Grinder. Grinder is the world's first free mobile social networking app for gay, bi, trans, and queer people to connect, chat, and meet, and rent to the rest of people for free or upgrade to Grinder Extra or Grinder Unlimited for the more features, more fun, and more chances to connect. Grinder, which I was on. <laughs> <laughs> actually put an app well I've been in it before but I actually got up there and stuff like that and I was put, put my picture up there and stuff you know because I didn't that you know mother go out it, it is what it is and I ran into people that I did not want to meet from my past and a lot of people from my past has been circling like I say home so they start digging and they start finding me stuff like that now I met this one guy which I met years ago back in AOL days and the thing is, he was like hardcore tough, and you may see this video, but it is what it is. So, hardcore tough, da 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 So, he hit me up and stuff like that. I didn't know who he was. He knew exactly who I was. I mean, it's kind of obvious because my name said Raven, so it's not like, it's not like hard to figure me out. I put everything Raven, any way you want to look at it, just put Raven over and you can find me and go, I'm all over the net. It is what it is. It ain't no shame in my name. I could care less. Do what you got to do. So, anyway. I put my name up there, so they're raving and stuff. That's my government. So the thing is that we talked back and forth today. And he knew who I was. I know who he was. He looked at different. Because back then he was like hardcore. But clearly his hardcore days have gotten a lot more soft, I guess. Because of the world changing and stuff. I felt he would feel more safer to slide into his real truth. How truth. you doing, mother's love? It is what it is. No judgment zone. So... We got on the phone. He, I gave him my phone number. He called me up on the phone. I said, what is your name? He didn't tell me his name. I could say his name. When he told me his name, I'm like, oh my God, this is you? Now, the thing that got me off, no judgment zone, which I'm judging. The thing that got me was, I remember this hardcore guy like, yo, the, you know, this deep voice. He got on the phone and said, hey girl. Well, I'm like, oh, who is Oh, they got your yams. Oh, they turned you to a ladybug. Oh. <laughs> but I'm listening. I guess it's a wish you could say the same thing about you, but on the end of the day, it is what it is. 
But y'all girl, y'all girls like me know what I mean. When he always up was one way, all of a sudden now he come back and he battling you at a pit, battling you at the ballroom scene. And you like, oh. So the thing is, I was like, oh, you sound different than before. He's like, yeah, well, I've been, I've been with every part of the rainbow. I said, oh, every part. I appreciate that honesty only because I said, well. At least you could, you know, admit to being with all the part of the rainbow. But you know what he said? I haven't been with a man yet. We're still doing that. Because still there's somebody that got up in them yams and turned you all out. Whatever little boy did was inside of your body, he and he's officially evicted. And that little woman is on the phone with me now. Well, I just want to know, um, what have you been doing with yourself? Cause something like I said, oh, you're caught. But you're giving me caught realness. So I'm just going to listen to him and stuff. I'm like, and he's like giving, he said, well, um, you know, and remind you, I've known him from back in the day. Let's just say, mother's live. And um, I was another type of, I was, I was very much in my Bush Cassidy. I've said about this video before, and I have to take the boys and turn them into girls. And it backfired. That's all they wanted from me. That's why I stopped doing it, girls. Take the boys and turn them into girls, and it was my way of my revenge. That's another video which I talked about it before. It was personal only because I felt like I was being played, and the only way I could get a man back was to turn him out. You know, it backfired because he loved it, he wanted more. Maybe that's why he hit me back up now. I'm talking about it. So, oh no, but he said, Oh, we never did that. We never did. Oh, honey, trust me, you did it. You are a ladybug, and at the end of the day, represent the ladybug committee. Get your little hat on, your little zoom zoom lens, and go. Ladybug, ladybug. I mean, come on now. Let's not be stupid. Mother's lived. And, mm, mm. The girls may think you, mm, but I know you're, mm. So at the end of the day, when you acting all, mm, I know you're, mm. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> anyway, at the end of the day, this what this. So I'm sitting there looking at him and stuff. I was like, I'm not listening. I listen to him on the phone and stuff. And he sounded well, like, I wanted well, I want to meet up and stuff like that. Absolutely not. I said, because something about you from my past means that you should stay in my past. And the reason why I said this is because we had a, something to fall out. Lo and behold, after a little bit more of a conversation, we realized, I realized that we had a falling out because he was a big liar. He lied about everything. He lied about us being together. He lied about a whole bunch. He said, well, we were both tops and stuff like that. That's what we were, trust me. Trust and believe. That's a big damn lie, honey. You was a ladybug. You, you sure are, please. You was the blue lagoon. So don't even sit up there and try that whole... Like it was a certain type of way. No, we never, child, please. You can play that with your role because I understand that that's what you got to do and stuff that do the fact that you even had a kid. I understand the role you have to play because clearly you say you've been with the whole rainbow, but everybody ain't in the rainbow. What you're talking about, but at the day, it is what it is. So anyway, he decided he wanted to get back with me. He want, I want to start more conversation with me, which I rebuked it. I was like, no, you can't come back. So I me. gave him any last words before I block you, and that's exactly what I did. I blocked him. He been blowing you know, my exactly phone. Exactly. Then you're lying, saying we never been together. We've been together before. No, we have not. Oh yeah, we have. You was a woman. Maybe you don't remember, but I remember you very well because I was getting myself all bodily ready for me and I got a little woman inside my bed so I did it is what it is like I said the big, the bigger man did the job so at the end of the day you was a woman you got served so don't come back here talking about something you don't remember you remember exactly what you did that's when you're trying to come back again to get some more you selfish bitch <laughs> anyway oh mother mess. that's why I stopped that's why I stopped being dominant because I kept turning men out and I got sick of it and I know my sister's been turning men out y'all need to stop it because we're turning more girls and the boys and the girls and at the end of the day we got no women left and they up front but at the end of the day we know we go mm, we know our sisters when we see them they don't always dress up like us they actually come in the male form looking like a man at the end of the day he's hardcore he acts tough but he's a ladybug honey I digress anyway I just wanted to share this with you in the quarantine I know I did run across the board but um, I went to share this with the quarantine. I was bringing out people I don't want to see. Has somebody come up, to, come up to you that forgot how y'all got down in the past and all of a sudden trying to act all brand new because evidently somebody that turned them out even more so? There are a lot of men who've been with trans women and also been with straight up men. And they will lie and take it to their grave and say, I've never done that, but they have. They have. Like I told them, my sister today, do not spend your money on all this. Because they don't want that. They want this part and they want the boy body. They want everything about you as far as the boy. They don't really want the girl. Not all of them, but a lot of them want the boy. 
So don't spend your money on getting your body. Well, if you want to, it's up to you. But if, I'm just saying, heads up. Don't spend all your money on getting your body done and try to look all calm. Try to get all these hormones. Try to get this stuff to be all passable. He don't want that. He would, he would, he would, he would prefer you not take hormones at all. So this way you can get in the bed. You could be aggressive. The gorilla inside the bed. He could be the ladybug. And at the end of the day, he's going to be ashamed to be seen with you in public. Because he don't want nobody to know that he knows you. Here it is. He was a lady all the time. No shade. It is what it is. I'm not disrespecting anybody what you like in your preference. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to form of shame, that's the reason why you shame. Are you shame because you got caught out there? Are you shame because your butt is whistling when you walk? What is the problem? Because my thing is this. If you can't stand your truth, then why are you always trying to, you know what I mean? Leave us alone, but y'all can't do that. And every day, my sister, if y'all could be dealing with these men like that, y'all better hit them pockets. I know this is what, baby. I got my own money. You, it is always good to have a little bit more. Just my opinion. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you and stuff. I just wanted to see about this quarantine and stuff. And the thing is, it just gets me how this whole thing works. And like I said before, you spend all your money on trying to be passable. That's why I don't try no more. I don't sit around wearing black hair. Everything I did was never good enough. It was always something. And then when you do so much to try to get yourself passable, beautiful, and unspookable, undetected, when you walk out the room, there's always somebody that you know, or some gay person, oh, you know what that used to be, right? You know what that is, right? You know how they get down, right? Let me show you pictures of him. That's a man. That's all they try to do is out you. So before you try to lose the extra stuff, child, it ain't even worth it. There are so many girls that are beautiful, passable, two-spirit women out here that are drop dead gorgeous, look like nothing but pure, pure, pure realness. And at the end of the day, they all home alone or got some man they taking care of or she fucking them up the butt. At the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm not knocking the way you get down, but hey, do you? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, in this quarantine, it gets a lot of people to think it. And people from my past have been coming up left and right and at the end of the day. For y'all, if y'all watch this video, stay where y'all at. I want to see y'all. Y'all in the past for a reason. Stay back there. Now, if you're a person from the past that owe me some money, come on over and give it to me. Anyway, like I said before, it's got to my channel at the top of this Instagram button. Anything I said that makes you want to comment below, comment below. I want to hear how you feel about this. Especially if you're a two-spirit woman that has been going through the ringer and cannot believe what you've seen once you got over to this other I found out that they're killing trans people. So this is what my life is going to be about. I have to watch my back even more so now. Because my sisters and my trans brothers are being murdered. This made it in time for this. I mean, come on now. At the men who try to shame us. When they're the ones should be shamed for not standing there true. You're supposed to be the real man, the king of the jungle. And here it is. You like a little ladybug. And the thing about it that gets me the most is that we can make the hardest man, the toughest man, the one that knocks everybody out, runs when it comes to us. Oh no, oh no, I don't want nobody to know what I am. I don't want nobody to know what I am. What are you? What are you? Anyway, like I said before, comment below the YouTube about this. I just top this Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. Make sure I love you. I thank you for watching, Kesterine. All right, now come on, baby. Let's go on Instagram. Ooh. Like I said before, subscribe to my channel at the top of this Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. Comment below if anything I said made you go, hmm, now that you thought about it, now that I said that, Raven, hmm. There's also PayPal on the top in case you want to donate to this channel. Love you. Love you.